So our youngest competitor's ready for his first real challenge, Dale. Should be interesting, Rick. Interesting. Like grappling with an angry octopus, Dale. Starfish versus Spun, a true battle of the undersea type. A true battle indeed, Rick. It's the truest of true. Best friends battling to see who's the best. Got 10 bucks on Patrick. Never mind. Okay, so we are back on the track racing against Patrick. But uh, here's the thing. Racing against Patrick... Um... Game, stop interrupting me. Okay, um... Oh, what was it? Wow, this game is really notorious for interrupting me. Or it's going to be after this Let's Play is over. Anyways, um... So yeah, Racing Against Patrick, that's not actually true. You're not Racing Against Patrick. You're only Racing Against the Time. Yeah. And, Pat and the only problem with Patrick being here is that he drops these bombs behind him. That's pretty much it. That's the only thing that makes it more difficult. So... Basically, you're supposed to just ignore the characters that you're racing against and just focus on the time. Yeah. I thought that was kind of weird too, to be honest, when I first played this game, is that you're not actually racing against the characters, you're just racing against the time. You could say it's a bad thing or a good thing, but I'm just going to ignore, ignore and go with it. So yes, we are supposedly racing against Patrick now, and we get... Uh, 20 seconds out each time we hit a checkpoint, just like last time, so... So, um... Oh crap, I missed a sleepy seed there. Oh well. Yeah, you want to make sure and grab those because, um, you're not really gonna... Um, you're only gonna get the three laps to grab the sleepy seed, okay? So, um... Yeah, I'll just have to grab that on the third lap and make sure to stay on the middle of the road because that's where the Sleepy Seep seems to be. Yes, it does, SpongeBob. I can't check out your wheels, Patrick, because you're too far ahead of me. Check me out, Mr. Point. <laughs> nice pun, SpongeBob. Actually, I won't consider that a pun in much as a... Uh, yeah. Where is the... There it is. Okay, we just got, we just grabbed the Sleepy Seed for... Another Sleepy Seed for Patrick. And, uh... So, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, I got... I shouldn't say that because I actually... That became, like, a... Kind of a big... How you say, uh... Catchphrase for me, like, in previous Let's Play, so I probably should, should avoid saying that. Anyways, we just beat Patrick. Oh, who's this? Oh, come on, Plankton. We just... We just encountered you at the end of the last race. We don't even get time to gloat Patrick. Uh, whatever. Save our game. Yes. We're going to save our game. And we have another on foot stage. Alright, here we go. Smashing a competitor's car, Dale. Is that against the rules? There aren't any rules, Rick. Reminds me of my first marriage, Dale. <laughs> Real funny, Derek. I find it kind of weird that I've actually memorized the names of the announcers. Let's see if I can't find some parts lying around to fix up my car. These guys aren't just gonna let me come and rummage around, so I better brush up on my skills. So yeah, apparently that's the gimmick of this stage, is that we're collecting parts for SpongeBob's hot rod in order to fix it. Because Plankton just foolishly destroyed it. And then I think after that we're gonna race Plankton. Get SpongeBob's missing cars car parts back. 
Will do. Okay. Now, um, in this stage, we're we're actually gonna learn how to attack enemies. So be ready for that. Uh, wasn't me. Oh, t wow! I can't believe I fell off that. That was actually the first time I ever, you know, accidentally fell off of that while walking on it. Eh, let's play curse. Okay, here we go. We got our first attack move. Now, supposedly, you can also use your ground pound move on these enemies, but I prefer to use the sand slap move, which is what we just got. Pressing B makes SpongeBob break out the sand slap move, which, as you can imagine, s stings a bit. This is a save place. It checkpoints your position, fills up your health, and if you slap it by pressing B, it will even save your game. How remarkably useful! You'll have to defend yourself, SpongeBob. Use your sand slap attack against them. Or how remarkably unusable because well actually no, I'm not saying that you can't that they're not usable, but really the game saves after every like stage and this and the, each of the stages don't take that long to clear, so it's not really that necessary. These enemies are very basic and easy to defeat. They only take like one hit from the sand slap and then they're dead. So they're really simple. Oh, like, yeah. SpongeBob wants to be pals with everybody, so whatever. <laughs> Crazy mad skills. What, does Mrs. Puff not approve my crazy mad skills? I guess not. Alright. Here we go. Um, first we're gonna collect all these Sleepy Z's first, and then we're gonna move on to the first, uh, third of this stage. Yeah, basically this stage is divided into three parts, and each one has one of Spongebob's missing car parts at the end of it. You'd think we'd be able to draw race without these parts, because they don't really look that necessary to race. I mean, look at this first part. Well, actually, no, I'm, I'm thinking that one. That one looks necessary, but some of the other two don't look necessary. Time to be a real pet petrol, petrol head? What? Time to be a real petrol head, SpongeBob. Collect all the fuel cans. So there's uh, 10 of these fuel cans around this area that we're supposed to collect. Very, very simple. Alright, here we go. Now be prepared to fight some more enemies once you collected all all of them. Uh -oh. more unfriendly creatures, hmm? Yes, SpongeBob, more unfriendly creatures. Uh -oh. more unfriendly creatures hmm? Keep in mind this all happens within a dream. Okay, um, be sure to destroy all these crates because some of them contain, uh, sleepy, sleepy Z's, and, uh, some of them also have hidden buttons right behind them, just like that, and well, we also have winch here that will raise up this platform and allow us to access the first of three SpongeBob's missing car parts. I seriously missed that sleepy Z the first time I came up here? Weird. Alright, here we go. Yeah, some of the crates contain sleepy Z's, others do not. I'm not really exactly sure which ones do and which ones don't. What do we have here? I have absolutely no idea. Um, I think that was like a nitrogen... Nitrogen... Tank or whatever. I think that's what it was. What it looks like to me, I'm not really sure. I'm not really familiar with car parts, sorry. An armor bad guy, you need to stun these guys by sprinting into them before you can administer a, a sand slap. Don't even try to hit them in the back. That's why they're called armor enemies, you know. Um, well here's the thing. It doesn't matter where on the enemy you hit, you're still gonna... If you, as long as you're sprinting at them, it's automatically gonna count as an attack. No matter, even if you hit them on the back, because I've actually, I've done that before, and it doesn't really 
really matter where you hit them as long as you're sprinting at them first before using the sand slap attack. You should probably get that hidden area before you move on here. And in here we have the very first Plankton Sleepy Seed, so yes. And, okay, this is our third Sleepy Seed and the game has just now explained them. You found a Sleepy Seed, you need lots of these to unlock characters in the last level to get, so get searching. That's weird. I feel plankton -ish. Yeah, Spongebob's gonna say that very often whenever you collect the, the Plankton ones. Did I say collect? That's a, sounds like either connect or collect. Combined, which is kind of weird. It's like we're collecting something and then we're connecting to it. That's kind of weird. All right, moving on. Okay, here we have a bunch of these crates lying around. So, oh, one of these. These are very important. so guess what we have to do in here? bunch of crates lying around so what do you have to do you have to smash all the crates yep couldn't be more obvious this is probably one of the most predictable spongebob games i've ever played in my life that doesn't mean that's a bad game but yeah it is very predictable at times but there are also times when it's unpredictable so you never know um, apparently there's some more crates located on the on the upper level here. Be sure to collect as many Sleepy Seas as you can during the game because you're going to be using a lot of them after after you beat Story Mode. Now we gotta fight some more enemies before we can move on through here through this area. Alright, now we can get the second car part and then move on to the third and final area of the stage. Man, Spongebob has a very strange walk cycle in this game. It's like, it's very similar. I mean, like, his animations are very similar to the Spongebob Squarepants movie and, and Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bomb, which I, by the way, I have both of those games do too, and I also plan to do Let's Plays of them in the future. Anyways, here's our second part. I mean, like the the graphics are slightly different than Creature from the than the, the those other two games, but some of SpongeBob's anim animations are reused from those two games. Just so, for those of you who don't know. Okay, so we got more of these annoying enemies out here that we gotta deal with. I really hate dealing with the armored bad guys because they're a bit more complicated than the than the regular enemies. <clears throat> also, um, just so you know, even though it's it's really obvious, so everyone should know this. Um, at the top right corner of the screen, you have this those uh, five circ by bubbles and each one contain supposed to contain a heart. That's how your health is measured in this game is through those five hearts. Just so everyone knows that. Alright, here we are in the last area. What do we gotta do here? Okay, first of all, starting off we gotta kill all these enemies. Remember those guys? Can't work without their tools. Collect 20 of them. Hey, look over there. Okay, so apparently that tells me that we have to fight 20 enemies. How convenient. Alright. Um. Oh man. How many enemies are there? Oh, t Dude, obviously there's 20. You just said that there's 20 enemies. Because you have to collect 20... So stupid sometimes. I apologize for my stupidity. Okay. I got come on, some more of these annoying enemies. Finally. Okay, these should these should be the last of the enemies right here. I'm mistaken. 
Like, duh, there's gonna be 20 more parts afterwards, even though I just said there's 20 enemies. Oh, really? As far as I'm concerned, I'm your only pupil, Mrs. Puff. Alright. That is the weirdest animation I've ever that seen. Platform is not going to move until somebody moves that engine block. It's like the engine block I'm fell right through the platform and the platform lowered like after the after the engine. Oh my god, that was just weird. Yeah, one could say this game is also notorious for its very strange animations. Not surprisingly. My goodness, you're becoming one of my best pupils. It's not that I'm one to hate on a game because of its animations, but, you know. Alright, here we go, Spongebob's last car parked. It's just what every Sponge's supercar needs! Yes, it is. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Creature from the Krusty Krab. In the next episode, we will race Plankton and then move on from there, okay? So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Multiclass Gamer signing out. Um, is there anything else to note? Um, I don't think there is, so, yeah, Multiclass Gamer signing out. Thank you. Goodbye.